Hello everyone, my name is Marian Marchetto, and I'm the author of the Bridgewater Chronicles, among other things, and I'd like to welcome you today to our June 2017 newsletter, and I have some things to update you about. The past several weeks have been very busy for me. Um, with several months in of no writing, I'm happy to say the creative juices are flowing again, and I'm two chapters into a new book. The new book is based on the early lives of my grandparents, my Polish grandparents, and they're coming to America. I don't have a title for it yet, so why don't we have a contest? Send me your best title or titles, either through my website, on my Facebook page, or a direct message on Twitter. If I use your title, or use it in any way, the idea, you'll win a beautiful handcrafted afghan and a copy of the new book when it becomes available. And for those of you who'd like to see what the afghan may look like, this is it back here. It's a uh, beautiful acrylic um, yarn, washable, cold water, of course, and it's called hot chocolate because of the variations in the colors, all being found in a hot chocolate or a mocha latte or any of those wonderfully warm beverages that you like to sip during the cold months when you're sitting in your living room or elsewhere and reading hopefully one of my books or any book to be exact. Um, you can enter the contest as many times as you wish. Um, each one should have a different title entry, of course, you know, and the deadline to enter, we're going to make this a good, good long one. So how about September 30th? That will give you time to get your thinking caps on, do some mulling over of your ideas, and it will also give me time to finish up work on this lovely Afghan for you. Okay, um, a little bit more information about the story you're going to be titling, and it begins in Poland and ends in the Naugatuck Valley in Connecticut, Derby to be exact for those of you who know where that is, and the timeline is going to be somewhere around Oh, 1888 to 1920-ish. Okay, so that's pretty good for that. Now, I have also uh, offered my services as a reviewer to those writers of the Emerald Coast Writers Group, uh, to which I am a former member, and I've gotten some interest from uh, several authors there. And I will have some new and exciting work for you to report on. And I'm going to try to read my way through a stack of about 35 books, either ebooks, print copies, um, that I have waiting to be reviewed. And may I say that there's a dire need for reviewers um, of books. And so if you could please, please leave a review of whatever book you read. It would be a big help not only to the author because we like to know what we're doing, whether it's good or bad, but we also like to see reviews as readers. We like to know what to spend our money on, whether it's worth our leisure dollar or not. So do it as a courtesy to your fellow reader. I know you, the avid reader, will also read reviews of others to see whether it's something you may or may not like and if this, the writing was worth the money that you want to spend. Um, but I will have more on this uh, review situation. I'm going to do another video for you so we won't just clog up your newsletter here. Um, just as a side note, late last month my husband and I were involved in a uh, minor fender bender. Um, we're okay. Both of us are fine. The other lady who hit our car was also fine. Shook up, obviously. She was a little older than we are. Um, however, our car is still in the shop being repaired. 
and we should have it back by late next week. We are hoping so. We sort of miss it because the rental car we have now is not exactly what we're used to. But hey, it drives, it works, it has air conditioning. What more can we ask for? And so all I have to say about that is that stop signs are not street decorations. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. So that's all for this month, dear friends and readers. And I wish you all, I should say, my little editor here, who's sitting just below your screen, Miss Taffy, we wish you happy reading. And remember to leave a book review for every book you read. Thank you.